Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now you guys read the title, you know what I'm making. I'm making a Sloppy Joe Dip. Hey listen, this is excellent to put out, you know, during football season. Even if you're having some company, you know, you got some people over or whatever, and you like want to just put something out, something that they can just like dip and go. You know, something that's a little different, or it even pairs good with like having wings, you know, uh, any type of finger food or anything like that. So. I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm just getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make, you know, a sloppy Joe dip. Boom. All right, now we finna go over some of these ingredients right here. Look, got this tomato sauce. You know, uh, this is like the most popular brand. I see this all over. This is Hunt's. This is like 15, 15 ounces. We got red wine vinegar. We got that W sauce. Look. This right here is that cream cheese. Look, this is four ounces. Usually when you buy it, it's gonna have something like, uh, it'll probably come in eight ounces. I just cut it in half and I cubed it. It'll help it when it, you know, when it comes time to uh, melt it. This right here is some steak seasoning. I'm using Emerald. Most of my seasons are still out in uh, Texas right now. You know what, but this is a great, you know, uh, I, we'll just call this, hey, look, this just works fine. Just no matter what. You guys can use whichever steak seasoning you would like. This right here is brown sugar. You're gonna need some of that. And then what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to dice, you know, this onion right here and then this green uh, bell pepper. It's up to you. Bell pepper is optional. You guys know how you like your uh, sloppy joe. You know, this is uh, this is just the way I make it. I like it like this. And then right here, we got that Kobe Jack cheese. Listen, we're going to get three cups. You're going to get put two cups to the side and then you're going to save an extra cup. This right here. Hey, you're going to like this part in here. I opened this bag right here. This is a new bag, but I opened it just so you guys can see the tostado scoops. So listen, since it's a party food, you're putting it out as a dip, check it out. Look how they made. Just dip them, boom. And here's another option. Got a sourdough baguette. You know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these into some thin slices. You can use this also as a dip. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grade and dice. Now, I just finished dicing the onion. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this bell pepper. But listen, I just wanted to say this to you guys. Hey, too bad we can't play no music, you know, like regular music, copyrighted music, because I'm gonna tell you right now, I just put on pause right now, uh, Cooling the Game, Summer Madness. I remember the original, you know what I mean? That's something that my mama used to have playing like on Sunday morning. I mean, on Saturday morning, I knew when I heard that it was time to get up and, you know, start cleaning up the house before I started asking, can I run the street? All right, so I'm just dicing them about this size right here. You can see, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I'm gonna finish this half and then we are gonna move on. Now look, I thought I'd show you guys me, show you guys, you know, me grading this, this Kobe Jack. The reason I'm grading it, cause look, when you buy regular, let's see, when you buy regular shredded cheese, it has some kind of like waxy film. Sometimes when you melt something, it'll look like it'll have a greasy texture, greasy uh, grease on the top, but that come from whatever they put on there so that it, uh, the slices just don't uh, stick together. So my suggestion, and I'm gonna just say this is a pro tip, you gotta go ahead and grade your own cheese. Hey, listen, it's better, and if you want it to melt, you know, with that ooey, this is the way to go right here. All right, just wanted to show you this. All right, <clears throat> what you guys don't see is I got still a lot more uh, shredded cheese, you know, on the side, but we want to have approximately two cups to put in there in the beginning, then we're going to add another cup at the end. So this is two cups. We got our diced uh, onions, then we got our bell peppers, and then I just went ahead and just cut up, you know, the baguettes. So there you go. Now listen, you can drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil on here, put them in the oven, and just toast them. That's what you would like. But I like mine to be just a little bit you know, like this right here is good for me. All right, now let's go ahead and start preparing our beef and let's get this uh, party started. All right, we're gonna set our, our uh, gas, our fire to medium high. Just so you guys can see what medium looks like. We're gonna go ahead. Now we're getting ready to start browning our, you know, our beef. All right, listen, I could, you can do this with either a pound and a half or two pounds. I chose to use two pounds. All right, look, now once you get it all cooked down, you know, you want to break it up. 
he wanted to be like, you know, truly ground up, you know? I just drained uh, the, the grease off of it just now. I didn't, you know, I forgot to show you guys that, but I went ahead and just drained it. And what I'm doing is just breaking up the, uh, the larger pieces. And now I'm getting ready to start adding my onion. Let some of this ground beef absorb some of this onion flavor. And we want to cook it down, you know, until it starts to get a, just a little bit of soft. You know, you don't want to like cook it down where it's too soft. And the reason I put the onions in first, because the bell pepper is going to cook, you know, much, much faster. So I just want to give the, uh, the onions just a little head start. And then again, I'm going over some of these uh, bigger chunks, making sure I got them broke down. Now we'll come back with the, the bell peppers. And we'll just keep giving this a stir, working this in. Then we're gonna let this cook for about, maybe about five minutes or whatever. And after that, we'll move over to the next step. And again, remember this is two pounds of beef. You know, you can do it. I've done it as little as a, a pound and a half. I mean, that works fine too. But if you guys know me, I like everything meaty. You know, I'm a meat and potato guy. No matter what it is, dip or whatever. So, hey, you know what I just thought of just now? What if I just cut some potatoes into some small cubes and put this in here too? Anyway, I'm gonna leave well enough alone. We're just gonna go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna let this uh, cook down a little bit. We say five minutes, then we'll see what it look like. Now, about two and a half minutes in, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my steak seasoning. I don't know if this really makes a difference when you add it. You know what I mean? I just wanted to make sure I didn't burn it or whatever. I just went ahead and just, you know, put it on top. Now remember, in some of my videos, which I'm trying to remember to say it all the time, listen, we gotta taste our food in stages. Now we know that this ground beef, we've already cooked it. What we're doing is we just getting the uh, veggies to get a little soft, you know, and adding that flavor to it, right? So we just added our steak seasoning. Now, I'm gonna just say after you finish working it around, getting everything, you know, mixed thoroughly, trying to get that uh, steak seasoning everywhere, I'm gonna just say, hey, now's the time to go ahead and just taste one, you know, just a little bit of this beef to see it, and then we make an adjustment. If you wanna add more seasoning to it, you can. Now, after tasting it, I can taste the seasoning in it. It tastes good. Now remember, we making a sloppy joe. We're not trying to like just overpower it with no seasoning. We just wanna give the meat some flavor along with this bell pepper and these onions. And you can see these onions are starting to like soften up and they're on their way to becoming translucent. So now is the time we're gonna go ahead and add our rest of our ingredients. Now we're getting ready to come with our tomato sauce. For those of you guys that make your own spaghetti sauce, hey, you're on your way right here. Put some tomato paste in here, and then uh, some basil. Hey, I'm giving up too much secret, huh? Red wine vinegar. W sauce. And brown sugar. Now, don't forget, we still got our heat underneath this pan. It's at, uh, what, a medium heat. In just a minute, we're getting ready to set it for simmer. You know, put it on low, and then we're going to simmer it for about, I don't know, about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and reduce this and put this on low. We're going to let that cook in for about, like I said, about 10 to 12 minutes. And after that, then we're going to move over to the next step. Now, this is after 10 minutes. Everything is nice and soft. Your beef has absorbed all of that tomato sauce. You know what? And then listen, I tasted it. It tastes great. Hey, the sugar, that's what did it. Now, now what we want to do is, we want to go ahead and add our cheese. And then remember our cream cheese that we cubed? Just go ahead. And the reason like I, uh, I cubed it, it just makes it easier to help, you know, melt. You know, so you don't have like these big giant clumps. Once this is melted, we're going to take it off of the fire and then what we're gonna do is, oh, you know what? Here's a key thing that I should have said in the very beginning. Listen, I used an oven safe pan. This right here, I can stick inside of the uh, the oven. So you wanna use one of those, cause we gonna go in the oven. We gonna go in here and we gonna, you know, melt the cheese that's on the top. So we just wanna keep moving this around, keep stirring it. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some cheese over the top, then we're gonna stick it in the uh, broiler, and then we're gonna go ahead and melt that cheese. I guess it should only take about five or six minutes. You know what I mean? Just to get, you want to keep your eye on it too. You want it to look the way you want it to. Now, we're getting ready to put this in the oven. Like I say, about five or six minutes. Keep your eyes on it. Make sure you don't burn your cheese. You just want to like melt it, caramelize it on the top. And then uh, once you get the look that you're achieving, you want to just take it out and then it's time to serve. And here it is. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna set it right here for a second. Even though it's a cutting board, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down because you know so we can protect it. So this is what it looks like. Look, when you melt that cheese on top, you can see it. Now again, remember I was telling you, you can go ahead and you can use some of these tostado uh, scoops, you know, party size, you could just hit it like this. Ooh we, you know, your guests can just, you know, get it like that and then you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and just get me a, a bite. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Hey, I also want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, when was the last time you even used the words uh, Sloppy Joe, let alone having a dip? Listen, I want you guys to follow my appetizer uh, playlist. I got a lot of little game day, you know, ideas in there. And I'm getting ready to put together a video how I made my goal post. This was, was a suggestion, you know, from one of my subscribers. So I'm getting ready to show you guys some of the things that I use when I entertain. You know, just some cool things, real inexpensive. So you guys can put on like, you know, one of them great game day, tailgating, whatever you want to call it, you know, parties. Hey, so if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace.